Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Lisa Campos, Community Affairs Director with your Positively Tampa Bay. For more than 20 years, the University Community Hospital Foundation has been raising money to support our local hospitals, including the Pepin Heart Hospital and Dr. Kieran Patel Research Institute. Now in its fifth year, the facility is a moving force in the healthcare industry. And joining us with more is Dr. Charles Lambert, the medical director of the facility, and also Mr. Tom Pepin, local businessman, a community leader, and I must say, newly named 2010's Health Philanthropist of the Year. Congratulations yes, to you. Thank you very much. Thank you both for joining me. You know, so many folks see the hospital, but I don't think they understand all the wonderful things that are going on inside the hospital. The collaborative research that you all are doing with other leading hospitals in the country is very impressive. What would you like our viewers to know right off the bat? Well, right off the bat, I mean, we, we sort of rebuilt our research uh, uh, foundation when the hospital opened about five years ago. And keep uh, a, a stash of maybe 20, 25 active research protocols, and those range from drugs, devices, mm -hmm. uh, some informational type research. We support nursing research all the way up to some really cutting-edge kind of things, stem cell research, robotic research, uh, research in surgical electrophysiology, a lot of different things. Are you all tapping into the expertise of other scientists in other hospitals, for example, in Gainesville, Shands Hospital? Uh, to give you an example, I, I came down here from uh, University of Florida, Shands Hospital, and what I would classify as probably the, the most important research we're doing at Pepin right now is a stem cell research project. Uh, that's being done with the Cleveland Clinic, the Mayo Clinic, mm -hmm. uh, the Vanderbilt Heart Institute, and the Texas Heart Institute. We are in collaboration with the University of Florida, but it's the only NIH-sponsored stem cell trial in this country right now, mm -hmm. uh, specifically to answer questions as to whether this therapy works or not. Uh, so very important, uh, okay. very um, collaborative research. One of the things that the hospital is trying to do is to purchase uh, three-dimensional cardiovascular scanners. It's a mouthful. Why are they so important? Why is this piece of equipment so important? Well, what we're trying to raise money for now is a state-of-the-art three-dimensional echocardiographic uh, scanner. And what this means is you can put a transducer on your chest and see your heart, not in two dimensions like an x-ray, but in three dimensions, so it's reconstructed real time using uh, computer algorithms. Okay. So Mr. Pepin's big job is to convince our viewers at home how they can help. One of the ways that the community helps is by participating in charity fundraisers. You all have one coming up on Valentine's Day, February the 14th. Tell our viewers about it in the time we have left. Well, first of all, I'd like to say that Dr. Lambert downplays the importance of what he does. In the future, Instead of open heart surgery, stem cell research will replace the opening of the heart. Just go right to it. But our fundraiser is on Monday, February 14th. Uh -huh. It's our fourth year. We, we hope that and we make it a, a fine dining with a purpose. Uh -huh. Candlelight dinner, very quiet, no solicitation, no auctions. And we, we, we hope that people enjoy themselves while they sit back and, and raise money for a purpose. And it's called the Sweetheart Rodeo. Uh, casual cowboy country attire. I see you have your boots on. Yes. Let's give our viewers at home the information on their screen mm -hmm. so there's no excuse for you not to attend. It's called the Sweetheart Rodeo, February the 14th, starting at 6 p.m. at the Pepin Hospitality Center. Here's the number to call for more information on tickets. And our very own Linda Hurtado will be the MC. So see you there. Take part in this great cause.